Mornings start and finish here. On radio, on TV, online. This is Paul Henry. World health officials estimate that 80% of illness is caused either directly or indirectly by stress. That means there is a hell of a lot of stress in people out there. And while it is a reality of modern day living, there are actually things you can do to reduce the harm. Body language coach Suzanne Macefield joins me now. Suzanne, good morning. Good morning. You know, it's funny, isn't it? We, we, we get up in the morning and we are almost automatically stressed, aren't we? Yeah. Well, often we're in reaction. The minute we wake up, we have the alarm going and, you know, that's it. We don't it, actually thing. connect. It's instantly, it is a st- waking up is actually a stressful it situation. It can be. It can be. And we live in such a fast-paced world, you know. We're getting stimulus and bombarded with input continually. Mm. So the minute we've started our day, we're we're getting that input, but we may not have actually grounded or centred ourselves to actually be prepared for that. So the best time to do it is as early as possible in your waking day? Yeah, it's actually about you taking charge of your day, you know, rather than you being in reaction, you become in response. So you choose how you start your day. And there's simple little techniques that you can use. Okay, talk, this is, because this this is news you can use. Everyone is in a situation, I hate that phrase, everyone is in a situation like the one we discussed. The alarm has just gone off that bloody horror bloody tune and you've got up you've got a short amount of time to go to work and yet again be ritualistically tortured by your boss um (laughs) so what do you do (laughs) okay well you choose how you start your day and you know we have we're mentally we've got mental emotional and physical going on so the first thing when we get out of bed if we can actually do something where we actually get physically present in our body and you know, expand our space. Okay, so we've we've got out of bed. We're now standing next to the bed. Yeah, you can either do it standing next to the bed or you can go do it in the shower or just before you leave or when you get into work. Right. Actually, the ideal thing is to do these at, at natural stop points in the day. So you right. have check-ins because, you know, you're not going to go through the whole day being unstressed. The chances are you're going to get that stimulus coming in. Okay, I like the idea of doing the first one in the shower. Yep. How do we do this? Okay, so <laughs> very, very simple... I'm sorry about these people. They're juveniles in the studio laughing at that. <laughs> but I just think you're in the shower yeah. anyway. You're standing there. Yeah. The water's there. You're actually waking yeah, up. Yeah, and that's a perfect time because it's, it, you're in your space. You know, it can be part of a ritual. It's simple. Yep. So basically what happens is when people are stressed, they tend to close up. Mm-hmm. And what it does is that actually increases the stress hormone cortisol in the body by up to 10%. Okay. So we need to make ourselves bigger, basically. So you can stand in a pose where you actually put your hands on your hips. Hands on your hips. And legs wider so you're sort of like an a-frame these are called status poses or power poses Mm -hmm. and recent research um, over the last couple of years at harvard university tells us that when we do this just for two minutes it increases our testosterone level which guys yeah, like. That can't be a bad thing. <laughs> well, for me, but... For up to 20%. Okay, just so in two minutes. what we're doing, we're giving ourselves two minutes... Two minutes. ...to stand in the shower yep. or somewhere outside of the bed or yep. something. Hands on the hips. Hands on the hips. Legs open. Yeah, legs wide. So wider than the shoulders. And what so are we doing while we're doing that? So what you want to do with this, because that's only part of it, what that does is increases your confidence level yep. and it lowers your cortisol level by up to 25%, which is your stress okay. hormone, which is huge. Times against me, I'm getting stressed. Okay. Put your hand on your stomach yep. and take a deep breath down to your stomach and you hold that hand breath. On one hand on the stomach. One hand on the stomach because what that does is it grounds you. Yep, deep breath. And feel your feet on the floor. So you actually feel I'm like gonna you're solid. I'm going to need to hurry you up. I'm going to go, you're taking under pressure. Taking a deep breath, <laughs> yeah. taking a deep breath, holding it for three seconds. And imagine something that makes you feel safe or something that makes you laugh. Yep. Something that lightens things up and breathe that right into your body. And hold it for three seconds. Two minutes. And you can do that, and of course, you do it multiple for three times minutes, during the day. Uh, three seconds. Three seconds. Brilliant. Mm. Suzanne, thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. Um, give it a go today. It's not too late. Uh, body language specialist Suzanne Macefield. And that's it for today. Have a brilliant day in paradise. Catch you back tomorrow morning just a little before 6am.